This is an interactive water puddle that was designed specifically with a soundscape so that when people jump on it, um, it's motion detected so it will start to splash and react to the people as they move through it. We were asked to come and have a look at the different arcades. This particular arcade I saw really needed to have a change of colour to um, entice people to walk through it and um, I thought the interactive water puddle was a perfect sort of uh, blue contrast with the, the brownness of the arcade. Major challenges with this project has been the artwork, trying to find people that could produce something of this calibre. I had a lot of people that had their perception of what I wanted um, in one instance turned out to be something different, so I did go through quite a few artists, but I am very happy with what we finally got, and uh, as you'll see, it's, it's, a, it's a great um, public art project. It's called Through Here, so it's a video installation of two videos, um, short throw projectors. The video will be installed inside the box, there'll be a screen just up here and that will reflect on the floor on these uh, reflective panels and that will bounce the, the image around. We've had to do a lot of prototyping um, and a lot of changes and adjustments as we've gone through. So that the space has been, on the one hand, where it drives your ideas and it makes things really interesting, it's also been challenging to work with that space. There's nothing in this space. People just travel through it. Um, and so we really wanted to transform the space into somewhere that people could really pause and reflect and see the whole space differently and see their place within it as well, to actually kind of be a little bit self-reflective. We really like the idea that it's not going to be permanent that it's going to disappear um, and become a memory. I had to go through a few, um, yeah, just uh, nightmares or waking up in the middle of the night, sweating, thinking, no, it's not going to hold. It's very time consuming and I have learned through this experience that I will do it very differently next time. <laughs> um, I think I started in November making the actual pixel every day, a couple of hours. So that took, uh, you know, over four months to actually make it. And the gluing of, of the making them together, I will hope there will be a certain uh, type of wonder and surprise and that they will appreciate the work that went behind it. Thank you.